it to Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Princess Gochidi Obonaya. I came into this family on the 10th of December 2020. When the whole world turned against me, when I was alone, when I was and I was living and seeing my graveyard, child, many that came across me can testify that what I'm saying now is the truth. I ran into this man of God on that very day. I was like a ghost. Immediately, I get into the office of the prophet. He asked me. I was with my husband photographed late. He asked me, who brought this woman here? I called the woman. I said, Why did you two bring this man when he was about to give to God? I said, he said, he said that yes. He said, had it been that two people ran to this place, he wouldn't have gone. And I know. And he has proved to me. Because since that tent, I've run into this family. <laughs> My life has been a, a great testimony. <laughs> My sisters and brothers, please exercise patience. Because this Thanksgiving today, we give you hope. We give you courage. Please, don't be in a haste. Whatever thing that comes out from this man of God is a reality. Continue following him. Continue obeying him. Even there was a time I was trying to use force on him. He said, my daughter, follow what I said. And I follow everything that he told me. Everything worked, worked out for good for me. So, this man told me, how? Oh, that's your husband. How? They killed him. Look at it's someone that killed him. He didn't do anything. It's because of envy. He was revealing so many things. And at that point, I was doubting him. The man won. He really was a problem. To bury him with Wahala. My husband stayed in the mortuary. Almost 11 months. They said this one killed him. They said this one killed him. As they are telling me, I was running to daddy. daddy said, Go, my daughter. Nothing will happen to you. I have spoken. The almighty is there with you. Even when I was going for their evil meetings, they said accident. He said, my daughter, you will jump and pass. And how he said it is how it happened. They must surely give this man his burial right. At the time, they agreed to bury him. I said, Daddy, look at the options. Look at the, what they are telling me. My daughter, do whatever thing they say that you should do. The Almighty God has caged everywhere. I said that. But I stand upon this auditorium today because I didn't know that I and these little children will be alive today. They say that how they kill their father is how they, they are going to wipe everything. My daddy said, no way. Huh? Who can say when the Lord has not spoken? He said, no. Immediately, I buried my husband. Almost exactly one month. On your can you see? On in the graveyard to do. Daddy said that. <laughs> and it's how daddy said it. I said, they read you, keep quiet. All of them are going. Because this man was righteous. He didn't do anything. So, I am here in your midst to give thanks and praises to Almighty Jehovah. To glorify his name because he has proved to me that he is the Redeemer. And he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the beginner. And I am here again to thank you, my great prophet and prophetess. They are the man and woman.
woman of God. Daddy, I thank you. Mommy, you are blessed. Celebrate Jesus for this woman, people of God. I personally want to thank God for this young woman and her children. Uh, she passed through hell. Do you know what called through hell? She, she passed through hell. And um, by the special grace of God, uh, she came into this church through her friend. And the day she came, she was dark as charcoal. She cannot stand erect. She cannot walk very well. She cannot turn her neck. And she was crying that my husband is a mortuary, even though she was dying. But after said and done, I found out that it was spiritual setup. And um, I began to follow the instruction of God upon her life and her children. And um, to the extent the people that killed the husband said that the husband must not be buried. A lot of crisis everywhere. And she was alone. But God was by her side. And uh, before you know it, the husband was buried after 11 months. And before you know it, the persecutors, the killers, began to die one after another. Celebrate Jesus. And I'm using this opportunity to thank God, to bless God for you. You will live and train all these children. What their father couldn't achieve, you will, they will achieve it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate Jesus.